In the vast expanse of the multiverse, countless realities weave together in a complex tapestry, each thread representing a different version of the same characters and events. In one such universe, Victor Von Doom, known as Doctor Doom, reigns supreme over Latveria. In another, Tony Stark, the genius billionaire playboy philanthropist, fought valiantly as Iron Man to protect his world. These two men, though vastly different in their motivations and morals, shared an uncanny resemblance. Mirror images of each other, yet shaped by their divergent paths. Doctor Doom had become obsessed with the Infinity Stones. He believed that with their combined power, he could reshape reality itself and rule over all of existence. He constructed a device that allowed him to travel through the multiverse, seeking out the stones in each reality. His journey brought him to a universe where he learned that the Infinity Stones had once been in the possession of Thanos, but were now scattered across the cosmos. In another universe, Tony Stark was alerted to the impending threat by Doctor Strange. The Sorcerer Supreme had seen a vision of Doctor Doom's arrival and warned Tony that this powerful villain, who astonishingly looked exactly like him, would stop at nothing to acquire the stones. Knowing the stakes, Tony prepared for the inevitable confrontation. The multiversal portal opened, and Doctor Doom stepped into the world of Tony Stark. The air crackled with energy as the armored despot emerged, his eyes gleaming with malevolent intent. Tony was waiting for him, standing in his Iron Man armor, ready to defend his universe. Doom, Tony called out, his voice amplified by his suit. I know why you're here, and I won't let you succeed. Doctor Doom's eyes narrowed behind his mask. Stark? I have no time for your meddling. The stones will be mine, and with them, I will reshape reality to my will. Tony's helmet retracted, revealing his face. Doom, shocked to see his own reflection, realized the situation and said, Funny, you look just like me. Guess we're both narcissists in our own ways. Doom's laugh was cold and humorless. Indeed, but only one of us will leave this world victorious. The battle began with a deafening clash. Dr. Roth, Doom's mystical and technological prowess made him a formidable opponent, but Tony Stark's intellect and determination were equally matched. Their suits collided in a flurry of blows, energy blasts, and arcane spells. The fight was brutal and relentless, each man pushing the other to their limits. The skies above New York City became their battleground, with each blow sending shockwaves through the air. Tony unleashed his full arsenal of weapons, while Doom countered with powerful spells and energy blasts from his gauntlets. The city trembled under the might of their confrontation, as citizens below watched in awe and terror. At one point, Doom used his mastery of sorcery to summon spectral chains that wrapped around Tony, constricting him. Tony gritted his teeth, his suit system straining under the pressure. You think magic scares me? He growled, activating his repulsors to break free. I've faced worse. The battle took a dramatic turn when Doom, using his knowledge of the multiverse, created illusions of Tony's loved ones, taunting him with visions of Pepper, Rhodey, and even his deceased parents. The emotional assault was meant to break Tony's spirit, but it only fueled his determination. Tony's AI, Friday, detected a pattern in Doom's spells. Boss, if we disrupt his concentration, we can weaken his magic. Seizing the opportunity, Tony fired a barrage of micro-missiles at Doom, forcing him to deflect them with his sorcery. In that moment of distraction, Tony charged forward, delivering a powerful punch that shattered Doom's focus. The sorcerer's spell faltered, and Tony seized the advantage, unleashing a devastating repulsor blast that sent Doom crashing into the ground. Bruised and battered, Dr. Doom struggled to rise. Tony stood over him, his arc reactor glowing ominously. It's over, Doom. You're not getting the stones. Doom's eyes burned with hatred. This is not the end, Stark. You may have won this battle, but the war is far from over. Tony's helmet closed, his resolve unwavering. Then I'll be ready. Every time. As Doctor Doom was pulled back through the portal by his own failing device, he vowed to return, more powerful and prepared. Tony watched as the rift in reality sealed shut, the immediate threat averted. In the aftermath, Tony met with Doctor Strange, who had been observing the battle. You did well, Tony, Strange said. But Doom is relentless. We must stay vigilant. Tony nodded, knowing that the multiverse held many more challenges. Yeah, but at least we showed him that this universe won't go down without a fight. Meanwhile, in the remnants of Doom's home universe, 
the villain licked his wounds and plotted his return. His obsession with the Infinity Stones only grew stronger, and he swore that next time, he would not be so easily defeated. As Tony Stark returned to his world, he couldn't shake the feeling that this was just the beginning of a much larger conflict. The multiverse was vast and full of dangers, but he knew that as long as he and his allies stood together, they could face any threat. And so, the legend of Iron Man's battle against Doctor Doom became another chapter in the endless saga of heroes and villains, a testament to the strength and resilience of those who stand against the forces of darkness, no matter where they come from.